Natural Law In natural law, devised by Thomas Aquinas, there are four laws. Eternal law, divine law, natural law and human law. Eternal law is the principles by which God made and controls the universe, which only God fully knows. Divine law is second down from this, which is the biblical law which reflects eternal law. And natural law is the moral law of God built into human nature, which is accessible by everyone as it just requires people to use their reason. Finally, human law. Human law are laws created by humans to deal with challenging situations. Aquinas based the theory on Aristotle's four causes. According to Aristotle, we all have a final cause. Our final cause is our purpose in life, which is eudaimonia, which is human flourishing. Aquinas worded this differently. He said our final cause was to achieve perfection, to become like God, as we are made in the image of God. We can achieve this by achieving good, but and avoiding evil. But how can natural law be built into everyone if sometimes we do evil? Well, apparently, sometimes we do evil because it seems like it's good. There are two types of goods, apparent good and a real good. An apparent good seems like it's good, but it doesn't fit into the perfect human ideal of becoming like God. Whereas a real good is an actual good that fits into the perfect human ideal of becoming like God. So if we follow the real goods, we can become more godlike. Natural law is a deontological theory. Intentions are important, not consequences. We follow rules to become more godlike. Natural law says it's always wrong to do a bad act intentionally to bring about good consequences. However, sometimes it's okay to do a good act even though we know it brings about bad consequences. This is the doctrine of double effect. For example, a pregnant woman with cancer has a hysterectomy, which causes her to lose the baby, but saves her life. Primary Precepts We follow two levels of rules to achieve our final cause. Primary precepts apply to all humans by virtue of sharing a common human nature. These are Power Preservation of life Ordered and peaceful society Worship God Educating children and reproduction of the species. Secondary precepts are just rules derived from primary precepts. For example, if it was preservation of life, then our society would ban contraception. Natural law can be applied to sexual ethics. For example, homosexuality. It doesn't follow the primary precept of reproduction of the species. Therefore, it's a bad thing to do, and we shouldn't follow it. Strengths. It's flexible as it allows secondary precepts to vary according to culture because they are the practical working out of the universal primary precepts. Double effect also allows them to get around the problems of conflicting secondary precepts. It also places high value on human dignity and human rights. It protects the absolute nature of human rights and values human life highly. It's also reliable because predicting consequences is not reliable, as there are far too many consequences to predict and the certainty is not known. Natural law gives us rules that we see in societies throughout the world, such as do not kill, so it's universal. Weaknesses. Although they say that it can be accessed by everyone, it requires belief in God because it relies on a God-given purpose to become like God. Therefore, this alienates atheists or other religious believers. Outcomes. Although it doesn't lead to immoral acts, it can lead to immoral outcomes, such as not allowing contraception, leading to the spread of AIDS and overpopulation in Africa. It's also outdated because it enforces traditional views which are out of touch with 21st century society. It can lead to bad consequences such as homophobia, discrimination and intolerance of other cultures.